hello my wonderful friends on the internet i'm so excited to have you in this video in this lesson we are going to see how we can create a calculator using python yes python in pycharm so this is my pycharm ide and you can see the file name scratch.py which is a python extension right now i have an empty window so i'll go ahead and import a math class because I'm going to use the math class for the square roots and next I'm going to create a y loop so y y is less than one so y y is equal to one sorry so first I'm going to create five okay seven print statements which will take tell the user to enter add in order to add a number enter multiply to multiply the number divide quit and so on quit is going to end the program since it's a while loop is going to break the loop so I'll go ahead and just add this up and finally I'm going to create another variable so which you take in the input me okay so if I run this now you see the print statement has been displayed enter r to add two numbers enter multiply to multiply and so on so it's telling the user what to add in order to run the math or division function so next i'm going to create an if statement still inside the while loop so i will say if the value of number is equal to add i'm going to create first variable which is num1 and convert it to an integer and then input so we'll tell the user to input a number so we'll say or oh, let's enter a valid number okay and next i will create the same thing and create a total that will take the sum of num1 and num2 since is the add function that we're running so i'll say total I'm going to convert it to a string so that I will be able to concatenate it when I print it to the console. 1 plus num2. Okay. So finally, I'll use the print statement. So print. I'll say the total. number is okay i'm going to contaminate it to total okay so if i save this and run the function you can see okay if number add invalid centers okay sorry this is an assignment operator i'm supposed to use the equal to operator okay so if i run this can see automatically it has displayed on our console so if i add add to the input and press enter it's going to automatically ask me to enter a valid number so if i should press five it's also going to ask me to enter another number if i press five it's going to give me the total of the two numbers which will be 10 can say the total number is 10 and then since i'm using a while loop it's still going to show this one again and tell us to input more to add any enter any test if we enter multiply it's going to 
multiply the numbers so i'm go ahead and create an if statement for the multiply and all that okay okay so now if i run this program it's going to ask us to input enter it says so if i should enter multiply and enter a number let's say three multiply by four okay four the total number is going to be 12 you can see the total number is 12 so next let me do it for the division so let's say div to divide the number and i enter 20 divided by 4 you can see the total number is 5 if next let me do for the subtraction let's say subtract enter a valid number i will say okay 10 i will enter 10 minus 5 you can see the total number is 5 and finally i want to get a square root of a number Next, I want to get a square root of 144, which we all know is 12. Yes, 12. So if I enter S to get the square root of a number, uh, this is not supposed to be like this. Okay, there is a there is a problem in the square root side. So number one. Okay, so in more, I'm supposed to put S, not more. Okay, so I will go ahead and rerun the program. So now, if I enter S, it's going to ask me to enter a valid number. So let me enter 144. Automatically, can only concatenate string, not float to string. Okay. Okay. I was supposed to stringify this. Yeah. Stringify it. A string. Let's see. If that is going to. Oh, I'm not sure if this is going to work. Let's just try that and see. Okay. Enter a valid number 144 and run it. Voila. It worked. <laughs> it worked. Okay. Now you can see no one. Uh, as I said before, initially, why I added this string was because Python will not allow us to concatenate a number that is not a string. So that's why when I tried to output this, it was telling me that the number cannot be concatenated because it's not a string. Only a string con can be concatenated. So that's why you can see I added a, new, a string here inside a string method in order to stringify this particular number that the user will enter and then that's why python allowed us to concatenate it so finally if i want to end this program i don't want this to show anymore i'm just going to type in the quit enter you can see process finish with exist exit code zero and guys this is how you can create a simple calculator in python so i want you to go ahead and create more method like adding the sign cosine and all that i'm going to see your project and put it down in the comment box below so excited i'm going to see you in the next video love you